welcome to your reading i hope you all are doing so good thank you for joining me i hope you all are doing very very well so today's reading is the person on your mind how would they describe you okay and we have three groups for you to choose from we have group one the oh my gosh my mind has just gone blank but the, the moonstone crystal, the rainbow moonstone, we have group two, the selenite wand, and group three, we have the rose quartz, okay? I mean, not rose quartz, clear quartz. <laughs> so group one, two, and three. If you do want to pause the video so you can take a moment to choose your group, feel free. But I shall see you all in your readings. Hi, if you have chosen the first group, the rainbow moonstone then this reading is for you i hope you all are doing so good so the person on your mind how would they describe you we'll start off with your tarot cards so we have the nine of wands upright seven of pentacles upright and we also have the five of cups in reverse okay so how would the person on your mind see you okay no, how would they describe you? Sorry. So this person, they would describe you as a bit stubborn. They would say that you are someone they won't or can't give up on. They, they talk about you in a way where they don't want to give up on you or they don't plan on giving up on you in some way. They would describe you as drained by life um, and all your responsibilities and that you are kind of going through a bit of a battle right now. They would describe you as someone who is there for them or someone who has been there for them, someone who's maybe been a support um, to them. You definitely make this person feel supported and that is how they would describe you to other people. They would definitely describe you as someone who is fierce, but at the same time trying to find strength um, with a situation in your life. One second. This could be, you know, ten of wands. This could be a responsibility you have. This could be a situation that you kind of have to deal with on maybe the day a day to day basis. So even though this person would describe you as quite quite fierce. They also describe you as trying to find strength or someone who has to like kind of muster a lot of strength in order to kind of get through their days. You know, they do really feel like or, you know, that you are kind of drained by the things that you have going on in your life right now. <clears throat> So this could be describing as well a situation that is emotionally draining or one that can be perceived that way, maybe from the outside looking in. So this person would describe you as someone that makes them jump through hurdles. And um, I don't really know in which way this is talking about. This could be in a way where you challenge this person it could be in a way where you're just maybe not easy and they have to maybe put in you know what they would consider extra effort when it comes to you but yeah for, for whatever reason they would describe you as someone that makes them jump through hurdles it could also be something that obviously you are more aware of <clears throat> But yeah, they, but regardless, they do um, describe you as someone who does challenge them. They would say that you have nearly reached a successful outcome in some area of your life. Uh, this could be work related for some of you guys. Um, it could be something that you are, again, more aware of, but they do feel like you are nearing a successful outcome or nearing the end of a period where you're just feeling really tired or drained you know or you know just taking on a lot more than you usually would and they feel like this is coming to an end for, for you or they hope it is and they hope that you have a successful outcome okay but they would describe you as someone who's very hard working but also as someone where it's like your hard work is paying off they would say that you are someone who works really hard when you are focused or when you want to work hard. 
they would say that you are someone they need to be brave around or they need to be brave towards but yeah they would definitely describe you as well off or successful or you know having um stability in your life whether this is financial you know support it's just very strong foundation and for someone here <laughs> For someone here they would describe you as retired like <laughs> there's something about you um that makes this person either think you're retired maybe you literally are retired for some of you guys or maybe you're headed in that direction or maybe i don't know it's maybe something about your lifestyle um but yeah they would describe you as retired or someone who is retiring soon but for some of you this could be retired in another way like say for example you did a certain job for you know a significant amount of times and maybe you left that job behind and you're kind of retired from doing that or you're retired from helping people or you're retired from i don't know doing art i don't know okay but it could be something like less literal basically you know um but yeah so they would also describe you as someone who's very good with money and someone who has already met a lot of their life goals they would also say that you are a bit of a perfectionist in their eyes they would describe you as someone who has helped them realize their own potential they would say that you are nurturing that you are a very good person in this person's eyes you are a comfort to them and you are also a comfort to maybe other people in your life but they would describe you as someone who they see in their future and someone who they will make progress with so if they if you guys haven't made progress thus far or recently they describe you as someone they will make pro um, pro progress with you know like even if they don't um see those results happening in you know the present moment they definitely feel like you guys will get to that point but they would also say that you're dedicated to your job and maybe dedicated to the other responsibilities in your life responsibilities that can maybe be perceived as uh i don't want to say burdens but maybe burdens you know maybe even from the outside looking in but they would describe you also as forgiving or someone that forgave them and they would say that you are someone they have overcome hurdles with so maybe i don't know if there was challenges in the past but you both overcame it they would definitely describe you as less focused on what went wrong in the past um maybe even with them they would also describe you of letting go of the past as well moving forward yeah moving forward with yourself moving forward in your own life yeah they would describe you as being in a very good emotional space or a better emotional space they would describe you as a good and worthwhile investment as well but not in a clinical way like not in in as clinical as it may sound you know but they would describe you as someone who's um just uh, worth it to them someone who's valuable as well you know yeah So for some of you here, they would describe you as strict towards them. Again, there was that message um, earlier where um, they would describe you as, what was it? Um, as making them like jump through hurdles. So for some of you, it could be the fact that you have boundaries or the fact that you are strict or the, the fact that you have um, like no, you know humor like you don't find certain things funny or i don't know what it is but this person they would describe you as strict towards them like one second yeah they would describe you as someone who's honestly not easy to fuck with so i don't know if they could see that as them jumping through hurdles or you know it, it maybe 
it's just i don't know i would want to say harder to navigate things with you because i don't feel like that's how they feel it feels like if anything they re really respect your boundaries if that seven of wands coming out to clarify so we also have opportunistic yeah they would describe you as opportunistic um someone who's able to make the most out of their opportunities For some of you, this opportunistic is coming out in a way where it's like timing, like something about your timing um, is like smart to them. Like they perceive your t timing is like great in some way, you know. Um, so, yeah, opportunistic is coming out in that way as well. We also have casual. How would they describe you? So this person may describe you as someone who's casual way maybe i don't know if this is in terms of you know your connection to them maybe it's casual i don't know if this is in terms of you, the way you dress or in terms of you being laid back i don't know um one second actually So they would describe you as someone they're taking a casual approach with. I don't know if that's the actual truth, though, because to them, it doesn't feel like they're actually taking a casual approach to you. Yeah, so for some of you here, they would describe you as someone they're only seeing casually, whether they're being honest with whoever they're saying that to or not is another story, you know. So we also have spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. So they would describe you as someone who is protective, but they would also describe you as someone they feel protective towards. But they, they also kind of describe you as protected in general, you know, so whether this be, you know, divine protection or protection from, you know, family or, you know, other people who care about you um maybe even protected in terms of your work or your security in some way but yeah but they would also describe you actually as someone who protects them or makes them feel protected we also have busy times and multitasking yeah they would describe you as busy right now They would describe you as multitasking, but maybe you don't like it or in their perspective, you don't like it. Um, so, yeah. So they would describe you as multitasking. They would describe you as busy, but maybe not happy about it. You also have pillow talk. <clears throat> so they would describe you as someone they would love to talk to more often. So we also have why did I let you go? Oh shit, we have the five of cups in reverse. So this person would describe you as someone that they shouldn't have let go of. They would describe you as someone they should have tried harder with. But also someone they want to or plan to try harder with moving forward. So we also have opposites attract. So they would both describe you both as like an opposites attract type of situation. They would describe you as being very different from them. Actually, do you know what? It may not even be that you're that much different from them. Obviously, you could be. Some of you, you may not be. 
um but the the differences that you have the things that do make you um you know very different from each other whether that be culture whether that be you know personality traits whether it be upbringing blah 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 you know um whatever it may be um they would describe the differences that you both have as very sexy as very beautiful okay so we also have i'm working hard <laughs> so for some of you here they would describe you as someone that makes them work hard <clears throat> so they would definitely describe you as hard working when you need to be as well do you have more from this card <clears throat> So, do you have more from that? Alright, so with this I'm working hard card, there is a message coming out as this person would describe you as someone they're trying to, like, like they're trying to get settled in their own lives. Maybe they're trying to ground themselves. Maybe they're trying to be more consistent, uh, more hardworking when it comes to work. But they would describe you as someone they want to put in that effort with, you know? So we also have, I don't know how this shit will end, but I do know that I want to try. So yeah, they would describe you as someone, maybe they, they're not very sure of the outcome between you both, but they do know that they do want to try. So they would describe you as someone they want to try with, even though they may not know or, you know, fully see how things are going to pan out between the two of you. We also have, you seem a little shy, but I find it so endearing. So they would describe you as someone that they find endearing. I don't know about shy, actually, for a lot of you here. But if obviously, if you resonate with being shy, then that's how they would describe you. And they would describe that quality of yours endearing. But I feel like for the majority, it's that they would describe you as endearing in general, you know. We also have, finally, don't judge me. So they describe you as someone they won't judge, don't judge, can't judge, you know, I don't know, for whatever reason, they, they see you as someone that is like, I, I couldn't even judge this person, do you know what I mean, you know, so, oh, I'm sorry. It feels like it's because they see you as like a great person. So it's like maybe they describe you as someone people can't judge because maybe you maybe you're just a good person. So there's nothing to judge, you know. But anyways, that's all I have for this group. I do hope it can resonate, make sense, be helpful. But I'm wishing you all the best. All right. Please take care of yourselves. Bye. Hey, welcome to your reading. If you have chosen the second group, welcome the person on your mind, how would they describe you? So we have Ace of Pentacles with, sorry, my camera randomly cut out. Okay, so, eh, who cares? Who cares if it's straight? So we have Ace of Pentacles reverse, Two of Pentacles upright, and the Queen of Wands in reverse also. Okay, let's have a look. So how would they describe you? So please only take these, you know, messages if it resonates, if it feels like a confirmation, if it aligns with the person you know thus far. Okay, um, so yeah. So the person on your mind, how would they describe you? It feels like they would describe you as someone that they have missed their chance with. It could be the other way around and they would describe you as someone that has missed their chance with this person. Um, but they would describe you overall as someone that's not really present in their life anymore. For some of you, they would say uh, that you want a new job, you want a new start in life, but that you don't have a lot of opportunities or work opportunities right now at least in their perspective they would describe you as impulsive they would describe you as maybe 
uh ambitious and um, for some of you this is not really ambitious it could just be that you are wanting to move forward but you don't have the opportunity maybe even the resources to do that right now or it's just kind of slow moving for you and that is how they would describe you they may describe you as someone who is not the best with money they would say that you are lacking confidence in yourself but the, but the thing is with your confidence they would say actually that this is something that has happened over time so maybe you were really confident in the past where it's just like through circumstances shit happening it kind of just kept knocking your confidence and that is how they would describe you you know um they would describe you also as someone that they were selfish towards <clears throat> But it feels like they don't feel bad about that at all or they don't it feels like they don't really care but that's just how they would describe it um they would also describe you as someone they aren't invested in currently they would also say that they see you you know uh, like dealing with some instability in your life you know this doesn't feel financial related this could be referring to the ability to start over or just move forward in a positive way but they would describe you as someone who's adaptable and someone who is currently or someone who can juggle a lot of things at once you know they would say that you are incredibly strong they would describe you as having multiple sources of income for some of you guys or that you're kind of looking for another form of income another source of income they would describe you as a bit all over the place in a way um this could be in terms of the all the demands that you have in your life right now or it could be referring to your energy maybe it's a bit scattered maybe it's a bit floopy you know and um or it could be in terms of your personality maybe i don't know uh maybe this disorganized that could be a better word actually for some of you um but yeah, they would say that to them, it seems that you are struggling to balance the different areas of your life. And having said that, they would describe you as someone they would like to... Hold on. For some of you here, please only take this if it makes sense, but they may describe you as someone that they want to be in a partnership with, but the idea in their head, it seems a bit far-fetched, okay? But please only take that if it makes sense, because that's not for everyone. And they would also describe you as someone that they've had a few ups and downs with, um, and that kind of things maybe haven't been consistent between you both uh, in your relationship or in your friendship with them they describe you as dealing with a lot of stress you know perhaps financial stress or that you have a lot of financial responsibilities placed on you and i'm not sure who you're asking about but they would describe you as someone they are jealous or envious of uh, this could be jealous of your creativity, your passion, your looks, your strength, especially if they consider themselves to not be talented or to not be super passionate about anything. Um, they could be a wee bit jealous. I don't know if they would say this out loud, but they would describe you as someone they were jealous about if they were being honest with themselves. And this is really random, okay, but this person could consider themselves like more of a NPC, you know, for lack of a better word, whereas they see you as more of a, a main character, you know. So please, again, only take that if it makes sense uh, in regards to who you're asking about. But this person would describe you as harsh to them, maybe even controlling of them 
or maybe controlling in in general this could be aggressive for some of you guys but they would also say that you are someone that maybe thinks they're always right they may also describe you as nosy for some of you they would say that For some of you they would say that you are someone they tried to manipulate and someone that they tried to screw over but they would say they weren't successful in doing that they would also say that you are someone who's not owning your power but someone that would or is a good leader, but maybe not in that energy right now, maybe due to circumstances, you know, things that are going on. And they would also describe you as not being outgoing anymore or just at the moment in their perspective. And for some of you here, they would describe you as being too good to be true. And they may also say that you are self-righteous but I don't know why, but this is coming out in a positive way. Like they would say that you're self-righteous in a positive way. Um, maybe it feels like they could admire certain morals that you actually have actually. Um, but this could also be in a way where you kind of stick to your guns. But they would also describe you as someone who does have a lot of potential. let's see what else comes out let me start with these ones how would they describe you we have emotional so they would describe you as emotional um this may not be in general this could be just at the moment for some of you it could be uh in general So they may also describe you as cautious or just not trusting. Actually, this feels like it could be the other way around as well. Like they would describe you as someone that they can't trust either for whatever reason. They would describe you as someone that they do need to tread carefully with as well or someone that they had to tread carefully with whether it, you know if it's referring to the past so they would also describe you as a proud man or woman so we also have here forgiveness heals time to release repress anger as it is blocking your health and happiness okay my bad so for some of you actually this person would describe you as being proud of them So they would describe you as someone that needs to forgive them or someone that they want to forgive them but they would also describe you as someone that they need to forgive so maybe there's forgiveness that needs to happen on both sides or maybe this person is lying to themselves who knows okay but this person would describe you let me see one second <clears throat> Yeah, they would describe you as someone that they do want forgiveness to happen between the both of you. But for some of you, they could want forgiveness to happen um, for maybe not the best reasons. Okay, so just be cautious of that. Okay, so we have control issues as well. 
Utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. So they describe you as someone they want to control or someone that they can control. Please take what resonates, okay? <clears throat> so we have here, I'm worried you don't feel the same. They would describe you as someone that they don't really have certainty or clarity when it comes to your feelings for them. They may even describe you as someone who doesn't talk about your feelings often. So we have you are so fudge and sexy. We do have the queenie of wands right here as well. Um, so yeah, they would describe you as sexy, very good looking. Do you have more? Okay. So we have whipped cream plus your nips equals yum. So they would describe you as someone that they want to get it in with, okay. They could describe you as like a friends with benefits or someone that they want to be friends with benefits with or someone they, they kind of just want a sexual connection with. So we also have you are so strong, we don't have to do this alone. Yeah, they would that describe you as extremely strong, you know, so even if you are going through challenges right now with the four of pentacles coming out, they could feel like you have it under control. We also have I want to do unspeakable things to you, okay. <clears throat> so they would describe you honestly as someone that they are very passionate about still, or, you know, they have a very, like, uh, a sexual attraction to you, sexual connection to you. And we also have the card, after the first time you'll be addicted, that's a promise. They would describe you as someone that they want to be addicted to them. And finally we have, it's too late to say sorry. So we have forgiveness here, but for some of you, um, this person could feel like it's too late, even whether it's too late for them to apologize, too late for you to apologize, or too late for forgiveness to happen in the situation as a whole. But they would describe you as someone that forgiveness needs to take place, but very unsure on whether or not that would actually happen and occur between the two of you, okay? Uh, but yeah, that is all I have for this group. I hope it could resonate, make sense, be helpful, and I'm wishing you the best, all right? Take care. Bye. Hi, welcome to your reading. If you've chosen the first group, I hope you are doing good. The person on your mind, how would they describe you, okay? We'll start off with your tarot cards, Ten of Swords Reverse, Queen of Swords Upright, and the Ace of Cups Upright. Interesting. So this person you're asking about, they would describe you as someone they let down. They would say that they weren't honest with you and that they betrayed you, unfortunately, as well. They would describe you as overcoming your own personal issues. They would also describe you as someone who nearly failed, but you didn't. You it overcame you know, and 
this is really random but please only take this if it makes sense but for some of you here they would describe you who has tried to ruin them or tried to curse them even in some way For some of you, it's like they would describe you as someone who's made them experience bad luck. So whether that's their own karma um, or it just became very evident after you left their life or you being in their life. Um, yeah, it could have been like, you know, bad karma or I don't know, something that they attracted to themselves, but they could blame you for it. All right. And yeah, and for some of you here, they would describe you as someone that they don't want. They would describe you as someone that maybe doesn't want to see them doing well. They would. They would say and describe you as fearless or you're just more fearless now. They would describe you as someone they still may have a chance with as well. They may have done something atrocious, not nice, or just really below the belt. Um, and they say that even though that these things may have happened, that they feel like they can still get you back. They would describe you as someone who is a bit of a martyr and someone who is maybe constantly making sacrifices for them maybe even for other people um and that you don't really like making sacrifices but you still do it you know they would describe you as someone who isn't going to cut ties to them and that you're not going to cut this person off they would describe you as someone they maybe still have unfinished business with even if you did have a difficult ending or you've been through difficult periods with this person, they feel like there is still unfinished business. Maybe they would describe you as someone they would always have unfinished business with, you know, like it will always be open ended between the two of you. So they could have felt like you both were at a dead end or the connection you both have was, you know, at a dead end. But it feels like they would describe you, describe the situation as still having hope. Or that there's still hope there. They would describe you as not having a victim mindset or that you are coming out of a victim mindset. They would describe you as someone they are maybe hurt by um that they are a bit bitter when it comes to you as well and for some of you this person is hurt by you because you are more cautious of them maybe you don't trust them or you're kind of guarded right now and um yeah they they would describe you as hurting them because of this stuff they would also describe you as trying to be independent maybe uh, you know, trying to find your freedom or wanting to escape a difficult situation so that kind of things can just be a bit lighter, less heavy for you, you know? <clears throat> but yeah, they would describe you as someone who is very mentally strong. They would describe you as honest as well, as someone they feel protected by or that you're just protective of them or you just have protective energy about you. Or for some of you, it may not be protection. It could just be that you are just someone this person trusts and that's how they would describe you as someone they trust. They would describe you as well as knowing your worth now maybe um i don't know if maybe that was questionable in their perspective in the past but they describe you as being more confident knowing your worth now um they would describe you as resilient but open-minded as well and someone who has a great sense of humor you know they would say that you are you are talkative or they would say that you are someone they can be talkative with you know or they just feel comfortable waffling away with you you know 
or it could just be feeling comfortable talking to you in general um but yeah they would describe you as well as like put together but a bit quirky as well They would describe you as someone they have to hide their feelings for right now or they have to hold back on the depths of their feelings because it feels like this person you're asking about they feel for you much more than they show they would describe you as loving caring nurturing i don't know if you're that way towards them right now um, but that's how they would describe you in general <laughs> They may describe you as being that way towards them. And if you both are going through a rough patch, they want to overcome it. And they want a do over with you as well. They do they do say that you value your independence. They would describe you as someone that they make happy. <laughs> um or someone that they could make happy and take this if it resonates but for some of you here they would describe you as someone they want to get pregnant or they can just see you having their kid okay they would also describe you as someone they have a lot of love for And for some of you here, they may describe you as someone that they kind of need to get back into your good books. So we have neutral. So this person would describe you as either unbiased, neutral, not picking sides. We also have perfectionist. So they would also describe you as being a perfectionist in some area of your life it could be in general it could be in terms of your appearance or maybe the way you communicate or it could be something you're obviously more aware of we also have soft it's funny because it feels like this person would actually describe you as kind of harsh um but maybe something else about you is really soft They, would, they may describe you as someone who maybe makes them feel a bit soft. Okay, so we have give it to God. God yeah, take a deep breath and on the exhale, release this situation to God for healing and answers. So they describe you as someone, it's like, you know, again, if you are not in the best place with this person, they describe you as someone that they believe it will work out between you both. They believe that there will be healing um, between the two of you, you know. So they may also describe you as someone who kind of gives your problems to God or gives your, you know, um, problems to the universe, you know, for questions, for healing. So they could describe you as someone like that. We also have divine life purpose. So they would describe you as someone who is their life purpose. They would describe you as someone who's supposed to be in their life. Like they would describe you as maybe shit, maybe like a soulmate, you know. 
and I want to even say twin flame for some of you guys like I know I don't talk about that stuff often um but for some of you here it feels like they would describe you that way They would describe you as someone who brings them a lot of fulfillment or someone they feel would bring them a lot of fulfillment. But yeah, they feel like they were supposed you were supposed to be in their life and they're supposed to be in your life, you know. So we also have just friends. So they would describe you both as friends, maybe the they would describe your situation as friendly. We have three of cups. It feels like they want to be more than just friends. So if, if for any of you, you're asking about someone who is maybe just in a friend or an acquaintance to you right now, um, this person would describe you as their friend, but someone that they also want more with, you know? So we also have affection. So for some of you here, they may describe you as affectionate. This could be towards a specific person in your life. It doesn't really feel like, do they feel like you're affectionate? Yeah, they may describe you as affectionate towards them as well. So we also have, do you feel the same or is it just me? What they describe? Yeah, they would describe you as... One second. Yeah, they would describe you as someone where they're not 100% sure about your feelings towards them. So for some of you here, they would describe you as someone that kind of forces them to be more responsible. You force them to kind of take accountability, to not make excuses. Well, that's how they would describe you. We also have fuck me now. How would they describe you? So they would describe you as someone they do want to get closer to sexually. We also have so pure yet so dirty and raw. So they would describe you as intense. They would also describe the connection as intense. It's like innocence, sweetness mixed in with rawness and intensity. And that's how they would describe you, describe the connection. And finally, we have you are the yin to my yang. Yeah, they would describe you as their other half. They would describe you as their soulmate or someone they just feel deeply connected to. They would describe you as their, like, perfect opposite, you know? So even if you guys are different, they feel like you guys could make it work or that for whatever reason, it does work, you know? Um, but anyways, that is all I have for this group. I hope it could resonate, make sense, be helpful. But I'm wishing you all the best. All right, please take care. Bye.